I don't think they're telling everybody the whole story. It feels like they had four real standardized answers and they didn't feel like they needed to deviate from them. They didn't really tell anybody anything. This was the consensus with many residents throughout the Peace Region. To say and show our frustration uh, that we have in the Peace Region that we're not being listened to, we haven't been consulted properly. You know, people in the region have really voiced their concerns that there's a, a, a lot of things that have not been considered by government. Uh, before any rash decision is being made, you know, people's voices wanted to be heard. Yesterday, Premier John Horgan held a press conference in Dawson Creek. He admitted mistakes were made and that he felt that there was more work to be done. The BC Premier made clear that he should have given a voice to all and not just a select few. I regret we didn't start that consultation earlier. I regret we didn't put more information before the public, but we are where we are. At the meeting, Premier Horgan also announced that Blair Lextrom would be the community liaison for the Peace Region, giving citizens an opportunity to work with a local representative from the area. Lextrom says he is under no illusion that this will be an easy job. We all live here for a reason, and I've said this many times. It's not us and them, it isn't First Nations, non-First Nations. This is an issue for all of us. We all live here, we all raise our families and want to enjoy the backcountry, so we'll find a way to make this work. At least uh, I'm an optimist and we'll remain there until uh, something proves me differently. Lexstrom says that after having several conversations with Premier Horgan, if the federal government had an opportunity to start the process over again, they would change many things, including local government and resident involvement. The new deadline for community feedback on the Caribou Recovery Plan is May 31st. For Chetwin resident Joe Tibb, the waiting game is a scary situation for him and his family. Personally, well, I got a wife and a kid, and I mean, we're not. People keep saying that uh, one of the two mills is probably going to go down because of these agreements, and nobody knows what which mill that is. Mm -hmm. So, I mean, it's you're looking at huge job losses in that community, especially for me, like. And they're good paying jobs too. At this point, the Peace Region can only wait and see what will happen after the extension date passes. The question is, will there be an agreement put forward that appeases First Nations, residents, and all levels of government? Randy Murray Adams, CJDC-TV News, Dawson Creek.